Breaking news. A northern leader revealed the identities of those who are behind insecurity in Nigeria. It says they are rich and they have access, uncontrolled access to weapons and hard drugs. This is what they give to the people to bring about the insecurity in Nigeria. Hello, my wonderful people. It will shock you that um, a former chief security officer of Nigeria has revealed the identity that, you know, um, the Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami, refused to release because when the chiefs are down, probably, you know, perhaps his name will be revealed. Only God knows. And so he's very skeptical in revealing that identity to Nigerians because if you want to implicate the people, they are also ready to implicate you. And so Mustafa is saying, guys, you think these things are just happening without ending. There are people involved who are behind it and they don't want these things to end. Sadly, they have access to weapon uh, and the rest of it and they don't want this thing to end. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Former Chief Security Officer CSO to former military, Nigerian military ruler General Sonia Bacha has said that rich men who have access to weapons and hard drugs are behind insecurity prevailing the country because of their position, because of who they are and they are unchecked. They can have weapons. They do these things. Mustafa positioned that dealing with the situation would require contribution of all as sundry and patriotic Nigerians about the true situation of things. Mustafa said, sadly, they are in government. This is why the insecurity continues. Dealing with the situation will require truth from the very top down the line. He observed that why the authorities would have stepped on toes in the efforts to normalize the security situation because these people are high up there, involved in every way. Speaking in VOA Hausa interview on Wednesday, he said, it's high time that the entire patriotic Nigeria, everyone who has Nigeria, Africa, or the entire world at heart, everyone should stand up and make personal contributions and call those in government to order. There are people spending money to cause this crisis, and it appears they are succeeding. That is the truth. From the very way they have access to weapons today in Africa, and the different kinds of drugs from all kinds of people that are given such things and are using them, these have shown that the strength that they have started from overpower and the laws of Africa contributing. Even here in Nigeria, there are people high up there. This is why in my remark, I make it known that this has to come from everyone. Everyone has to hold this government to account. According to him, many bad things are happening in the country. As few individuals are so powerful to have acquired means of exploiting the refineries, exploiting the nation's mineral resources, and causing this evil. Funny enough, the government knows them because some people high up there are involved. The former CSO alleges that, there's, that this few Nigerians benefiting from the nation's mineral resources seems to be unstoppable and they continue to ensure the country remains in perpetual darkness. So Mustafa, a former C, C, uh, chief, of, uh, chief of security staff, is saying we know who they are. And he's saying those in government also know. They, you know, and those in government have stepped on toes. They know what is going on. They are pretending to all Nigerians, sadly. So when you look at everything that is happening, it, it, I mean, what he said absolutely and completely makes sense. Mustafa said they know those that are doing this. And when you think about it, let's be, let's, let's rationalize it. Let's look at it very well. It says they know those that are behind this insecurity. They know. Those in government clearly, truly know who these people are. To a large extent, they understand what is going on. They are pretending to Nigerians. 
Mustafa said they know. And funny enough, they've touched, you know, security operatives have also, or the government have also touched some people. They've, they've, they, you know, and these people are angry. And these people are rich people, okay? But the truth of the matter is, Nigerians, we have a government. And if you look at the way Buhari is going about the so-called fight on insecurity, you will understand that. This man, to a large extent, maybe does not want it to end because if he does, he will do more. He will address the people. He will condemn evil doing. He will speak up. He will not, you know, play politics with it. And the northern elders and leaders, they all seem to be quite complacent. The only northern governor that is very outspoken about this and tired of the predicament and the situation, in my opinion, is the governor of uh, Buhari State, Castina, because, I mean, he's taking drastic action. He's saying it again and again, I am tired. To the extent that he's telling his people, if you want to bear arms, please come, we will legalize it, we'll make it legal. We'll make it legal. You know, so when you look at it, you understand truly, really, that there is something wrong in our government. And every one of us have got a duty to speak out against injustice and evil going on. And every one of us cannot be quiet and, you know, keep quiet in the face of all that is happening. Mustafa, a former CEO, is, uh, you know, CSO is saying, the government of the day knows some of, know about some of these things, but sadly are saying nothing to Nigerians. They, 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 they kind of seem to be comfortable with all that is happening. They kind of seem to be, you know, unbordered with everything that is going on. So Nigerians, it is expedient, it is important that we all speak up, you know, and not be quiet and allow them to do whatever they want to do. You know, all Nigerians, everybody needs to really stand up as one voice, one people, and, and, and speak against evil. Because the current predicament is affecting not just some people, it's affecting Nigerians. It's affecting everybody. It's affecting the nation. Is affecting everybody okay uh, you know this is why everyone must not relent in terms of speaking the truth leave us a comment we'd love to hear from you don't forget to please like us share subscribe click on the notification button god bless you have a good day bye for now